Please welcome Karen Jenkins, Assistant Commissioner, Vocational Rehabilitation Services, Alabama Department of Rehabilitation Services. regarding the Alabama Department of Rehabilitation Services. So as you saw in the video, here at the Alabama Department of Rehabilitation Services, we are one department with one mission, and that mission is to provide a continuum of services to enable Alabama's children and adults with disabilities to reach their maximum potential. Here at ADRS, we provide a continuum of services by offering four unique programs. Those are the Early Intervention Program, which provides services to children from birth to three years old, the Children's Rehabilitation Services Program, which provides services to um, address healthcare needs to children and youth up to age 21, the Vocational Rehabilitation Program, which provides services from high school through adult, with the main goal being employment, and the State of Alabama Independent Living Program, which provides services to individuals with significant disabilities in their homes with the goal of keeping the individuals out of a nursing home. So today I wanna to focus on the Vocational Rehabilitation Program. 86% 80, of our funding is federal funding from the Rehabilitation Services Administration and 14% of our funding comes from state funding. I think many times individuals with, with disabilities will contact Vocational Rehabilitation with a specific need such as pre-employment transition services, assistive technology or adaptive driving, but don't realize that we offer a variety of individualized services or that we serve individuals with many types of disabilities. Currently, 68% of the consumers being served by vocational rehabilitation services are eligible due to a mental, cognitive or psychosocial impairment. 17% are eligible due to a sensory or communication impairment such as blindness, deafness, vision loss, or hearing loss, and 14% of our consumers served are eligible due to a physical impairment. So for the next few minutes, I wanna discuss some of the services we provide to assist our consumers with gaining and maintaining employment. The Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act was signed into law in 2014, and it mandated that vocational rehabilitation services um, spend 15% of our federal allotment, which for our state is around $9 million, on the provision of pre-employment transition services to students with disabilities who are age 16 or ninth grade, are receiving services under an IEP or 504 plan, and are eligible or potentially eligible for VR services. There are five required services that are provided in collaboration with local high schools, and these services are based on the needs of the student to help them identify career interest and expose those students to skills needed um, for employment. Those five required services are job exploration counseling, work-based learning, 
counseling on post-secondary opportunities, workplace readiness, and self-advocacy. The Transition Unlimited Initiative is a partnership between the Alabama Department of Rehabilitation Services and Auburn Transition Leader Leadership Institute. Transition Unlimited provides an opportunity for VR counselors and staff from high schools across the state to come together to receive guidance, spend time discussing pre-employment transition services needed in their school, and to develop action plans for the delivery of pre-employment transition services. These plans are available for all stakeholders to view at auburn.edu forward slash ATLI. These plans are also monitored and updated to show completion of services. Our Transition Unlimited meetings began earlier this month and we have teams formed for all 361 public high schools in our state. When students are exiting the 10th grade or at the beginning of the 11th grade, those who need more intensive services or individualized services will be opened in a VR case and will receive additional transition services. These services may include assessments for post-secondary planning and accommodations, individualized job coaching, employment services, assistive technology, or supported employment services. Transition services are available to students, from, students and youth from high school up to age 24. One transition program that I would like to highlight is the Project Search program. Project Search is a full year training program for students in their exiting year of school. <coughs> Students participate in multiple internships throughout the year, and these internships are repetitive, yet are often complex in nature. We have 16 project sites, project search sites here in Alabama, and all of ours are in hospitals, but manufacturing, hotels, and banking and insurance institutions, as well as state governments, are typical project search sites. Project search measures success by employment, and Alabama is nationally recognized in this area, yielding a success rate of over 70%. The Individual Placement and Support Program, or IPS, is an evidence-based model of supported employment for individuals with mental illness and co-occurring substance abuse. IPS helps people living with behavioral health conditions work at regular jobs of their choosing. IPS is based on eight principles. Those are competitive employment, systematic job development, rapid job search, integrating mental health treatment with employment services, benefits planning, zero exclusion, time unlimited supports, and worker preferences. Alabama currently has three IPS sites, which are Alta Point and Mobile, Central Alabama Wellness serving Chilton and Shelby County areas, and Montgomery Mental Health Authority. Since we began serving individuals in this program over five years ago, we have served over 500 individuals. The Vocational Peer Support Services Pilot Project began on October the 1st of this year and is in a partnership with the Jefferson Blunt St. Clair Mental Health Authority. The program is designed to offer vocational peer support services to individuals with mental illness living in one of these three counties served by JPS. Through peer supports, we are hopeful that consumers will have improved employment outcomes because during job readiness and job development, peers can address issues that affect the consumer's mental health, fears over returning to work, ability to self-advocate, or medication management, as well as helping individuals with retention once employment is secured. Career employment and supported employment services are provided through a partnership with 32 community rehabilitation programs and 41 supported employment programs. Supported employment services are for consumers with more significant disabilities requiring additional supports and services, including extended services. Through both career employment services and supported employment services, consumers receive job readiness, job development and placement, and job follow-up. Advancing employment in the 21st century is also a pilot project that we have in collaboration with the Department of Mental Health. The purpose of the program is to bring funding to enable more individuals to move from facility-based day services to competitive integrated employment. 
released through an RFP, six providers and areas were identified and trained on the purpose and process of braiding funds to maximize employment outcomes and provide supports to those receiving Medicaid waiver services. Our Rehabilitation Engineering and Assistive Technology Program provides state-of-the-art engineering and AT services to assist individuals with overcoming any challenges presented by disability. Services provided include evaluations, recommendations, training, and technical support. Types of technology include aids to daily living, cognitive and memory aids, adaptive controls, and office ergonomics. Lakeshore Rehabilitation Program is a community rehabilitation program housed within the Department of Rehab Services. Lakeshore offers services designed to assist consumers in making informed choices regarding the goals they wish to achieve. Available services are, based, are provided based on the individual needs of the consumer and include adaptive driver training. This program is designed for individuals with disabilities who need assistance with learning to operate a vehicle using adaptive equipment and provides biotic training, driving training to individuals who utilize bioptics. The Vocational Evaluation Services Program assists consumers who are preparing to go to work with identifying their skills, interests, and abilities. The College Prep Program emphasizes skills needed for college success, including study skills, self-advocacy, technology and career information, and the majority of these college prep programs are held during the summer at universities and community colleges in the state. The Connections Program is a program for teens and young adults and enhances social skills and confidence for gaining and maintaining employment. The curriculum combines classroom training sessions and outings in the community, which gives a part, the participants an opportunity to practice the skills they learned in the classroom. The Connections Program runs from August to May and meets twice per month in the evenings. Currently, Connections holds meetings in Decatur, Birmingham, Montgomery, and Dothan. In addition to all of the services that I just discussed, our Blind and Deaf Services programs provide specialized services in the following four areas. Blind and low vision services include vision rehabilitation therapists who provide independent living services, orientation and mobility services that address cane skills, all travel skills, including bus systems, subways, and airlines, and assistive technology specialists who provide individualized assessments to assist consumers with gaining access to print, computer technology, phone, and their environment. Deaf and hard of hearing services include state licensed interpreters who can assist with accessing any services where communication is required, such as attending job interviews or in the workplace. We have audiologists who can assess hearing loss and recommend appropriate devices. And we have assistive technology specialists who can, who can recommend AT for work. The OASIS program provides independent living services to seniors who are age 55 and older who are blind or have low vision, most often due to a recent vision loss. Unlike previous VR services mentioned, the goal of employment is not a requirement to receive OASIS services. And finally, our business enterprise program. This is a self-employment program which provides gainful employment to individuals who are legally blind to operate vending in concessions, concession areas. Blind vendors are responsible for maintaining vending at interstate rest areas, state work release, post offices, and all military dining in our state. So these are just some of the services offered by Vocational Rehabilitation Services. By now you may be asking yourself, how do I receive services from Vocational Rehab? Vocational Rehabilitation is an eligibility program, and in order to be eligible, an individual must have a permanent physical or mental impairment, which interferes with the ability to work and vocational rehabilitation services are necessary for the individual to, individual to prepare for, enter, engage in, or maintain gainful employment. If someone would like to apply for vocational rehab services, we have 20 vocational rehabilitation services district offices located throughout the state where an individual can meet with a VR counselor to discuss services. 
Altogether, we have 441 staff members located in our district offices at Lakeshore and at the state office. And as I mentioned earlier, we have VR counselors serving all the public high schools in our state. Thank you again for joining us today at our virtual summit. For those who may have just joined us for this segment, I'm Karen Jenkins, Assistant Commissioner for the VR General Program. And here at the Alabama Department of Rehabilitation Services, we are one department with one mission. If you are an individual with a disability or know of someone who needs assistance accessing the labor market, the Department of Rehabilitation Services stands ready to assist you.